Hi, I'm with uh, Lyle Buen Camino. He's one of the artists participating in the exhibition entitled Entwine. Lyle, tell us, uh, how did you get involved in this uh, project which kind of brings traditional uh, weaving craft and kind of contemporary art practices together? Right, so I, I, was, I had a sh uh, solo show, my first solo show in Singapore with Chan Hori and then uh, had a good working relationship after that and then they invited me to... Chan Hori is a gallery. Yeah, yeah okay. uh, so Kai, the curator, who is the curator of this as well, um, invited me to, mm. if I would like to do a residency in, uh, you know, to interact with the weavers and right. stuff. And so I'd never done anything like that before, so I was like, Shit. Yeah, tell us about that. I mean, what exactly was the experience? Because a lot of contemporary artists uh, don't relate to necessarily to a craft tradition that, that their country might have, right? And, and the Philippines has, of course, a very strong craft tradition. Right. Did, you, did your own practice ever engage with the, the craft traditions of the Philippines? My own practice. Yes. So I work primarily in painting and like found objects. So. In the beginning, I was reluctant as part of the reason why I accepted because it's something that is very off from like what I normally do. So I thought I might, I should do it. So what did you come up with at the end of the day? I, I, so back here we see s some of your work, which is yeah. these uh, textiles knotted together across the scaffolding. What yeah. is the idea here? So the idea, uh, in a nutshell, was like uh, I was trying to engage this uh, just this general feeling I had because I knew I didn't want to do certain things with them because of the short amount of time so I, I didn't want to engage them make them work heavily for this project so I was trying to look for another angle the angle would be like um, I was trying to have a sense of humor about this this feeling I had of like just this knee jerk of like I just want to get out of here, you know, I want to r run away from this uh, situation. And then I, I started thinking about, you know, when you tie bed sheets together to escape, like it's more of a cinematic, um, you know, rendering of that image of tying bed sheets. Uh, but it doesn't work, you know. <laughs> it's, right. a, it's a dangerous thing. But it's, the, it's, the textiles do uh, echo with the with the the song kit right. that actually is right. is there, right? So you you were taking some of the traditional designs, motifs, and using it in the textile. You yeah. Know? So about that, it was like um, because in in Tanoti is where I saw this pattern, and then uh, it didn't register with me right away. But then it's when I went around the town. Uh, because we had to stay there for five days, so I, I had to go around. And I saw the similar pattern in the museum, which was actually quite a relevant pattern to uh, the, the, the area, because it was the pattern of the Rani, uh, like, a, like a gift to the Rani. Mm -hmm. And my, my- The Rani being the queen. The Rani of uh, Sarawak at the time, oh, the, right. the wife of James Brooke. Right, which okay. was which had like a for me like an interesting uh, was an interesting thing about the place is the their relationship with this with this raja and this rani and the rani's relationship with um, you know local textile. So I thought of like using the image of it and then this idea of like an original image and then this uh, they actually made a replica of it. They they. Uh, um, borrowed the original to make this replica and then I thought that I would make a replica of the replica or like a like a cheaper <laughs> a cheaper, version. A cheaper version and then like just mass produce it and then just tie right. it together so wonderful it, but because one of the things about uh, traditional textiles is that they're not mass produced yes, right? yes. and okay. they're very beautiful and then they're really difficult to make and then just I just thought it was funny just to print it out you know <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Okay. Thank you so much for, for Thank you. talking. Thanks. Yeah. Okay. I'm here with Aluga Syllabus. He's from Jogja, Indonesia. He's one of the participating visual artists. He was sent to Cambodia. I'm really excited to find out why you thought this was going to be a beneficial project for you, the collaboration between you and traditional weavers. First thing is, uh, as an artist, I really love to work with the people, especially the local people, because uh, <coughs> On my uh, daily practice, I working alone in, in my studio, only with my team. But then when I ha have a challenge to work with the 
local people it's give me experience and also a learning process also for me and there's many value that is is a more is a many value like uh, not just about the material but it's also about you, you can know the culture the knowledge even the spiritual yeah right but do, so you were uh, sent to Cambodia and you participated uh, yeah. uh, in a project there uh, were, were issues of language a barrier or cultural differences how did you how did you make sense of those differences yeah first uh, I when I first come I see them then I ask them about how they live the story and then uh, I connect with my design yeah, even my design is from their own story actually. That is, they inspiring me actually. So then I, I, I was as an artist. Uh, you know, we inspiring from many things. But then when I come to Cambodia, is there is the culture, the social, the the, the local people. You know, you know that there is a, a ladies that bring up the economy. I took the Maybank. You know, they they because. Not many women want to work again with the women. They're just going to do the factory work. Uh, factory work, and then mm -hmm. you know, and then uh, Fanta, she's uh, working hard to bring up the economy, and it's, it's fine me. And also, <coughs> the design of the of, of my uh, weaving is inspiring by them because I I I asking what is the very good story in here. They said Morning Star. Yeah, they have designed Morning Star. And I said, what is Morning Star? They said, when the people going to work before the star go, before the sun come. So it must be early morning. So now can you imagine now the, the young generation, you know, that wake up at 10 a.m. and nothing. So I said, wow. So this this uh, design is Morning Star. It's like a, the spin, you see the- So you the, created a fabric uh, yeah. And you design it yourself. It's not. Yeah. It's not traditional. No, no. It's, it's a mix. This is the paddy, paddy. Yeah. The the rice field, mm -hmm. and it's the the gate. It is star. You know. Yeah. All it's, right. It's the star, the paddy, and this the gate is uh, also when. <coughs> actually, it's like a story. You you part the paddy, star walking, paddy, and you got this, and you half us. So right. this is half a So there's a narrative in yeah, your narrative, work. Yeah, yeah, I see. Right. Yeah. And so when you left this project, I mean, do you work uh, often with traditional crafts people in your work in your mm -hmm. own practice? Is is Indonesian craft, for instance, something that you go to for inspiration? Yeah, I'm I'm uh, on my practice in in uh, art. Uh, I'm working with local people also in in uh, Yogyakarta. They make my sculpture. They make I make the ceramic also. Uh, but I also before I think this is the most challenge because before I, I work with some modern brand like the source I cannot mention the brand but I I, I design a, a, a also for, for for the brand it's a, it's a famous brand of source and also the helmet and some dress but this is more you know yeah there's a process that a very uh, intern you know you're not you're not just Use the artist's picture to to part, but you, I, I can feel the local spirit. Yeah. All right. Wonderful. Yeah. Thank you so much for, you so for much, being yeah. on the show. Yeah. Thank you so yeah. much. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's all we have for you today. Uh, this has been a show taken at the Entwine uh, Maybank Women's Eco Weavers Meet Southeast Asian Artists Exhibition at the National Museum of Singapore. All we have for you uh, for this episode of Let's Talk. Join me again next week. I'm sure I couldn't, only for Astro Awani.